are broadcasting live, Dickey Barbecue Restaurant. Come get some uh, great food uh, and uh, our, our location is 6065 Sports Village Road in Frisco, Texas, 75033. And we're going to close out the program today talking about an event that I'm very excited about, one that I have participated in the last couple of years, and I'm just delighted that a group of men in North Texas have gotten together to put this on three years in a row now. Two of them are here uh, with me now. I'm joined uh, by Greg Beeson and Rick Sell from the North Texas Catholic Brothers for Christ. Everywhere they go, they wear these red shirts that have their, their logo and their uh, the name of the group on it. And just that, the very fact that wearing these shirts is a great witness uh, out in the other public. Uh, the North Texas Catholic Men's Conference is going to be Saturday, February 7th at the First Conference Center, uh, 1601 Campus Drive at First. Uh, fun, food, fellowship, music, praise and worship, and some great talks. And so tell us about your invo involvement with North Texas Catholic Brothers for Christ and this third uh, annual conference coming up in a few weeks. You got it. I think it's our fourth, actually. So, oh, it's the fourth? Yes, and oh, we've, okay. been growing, yeah. we've been growing every year. It's been held at Prince of Peace, but this year, because of the growth, we're moving it out to the Hearst Conference Center, which is a state-of-the-art uh, center that's got big video screens. It's designed for big conferences like that, and we're expecting about 900 men this year. Okay. And so it's just a day filled with uh, four dynamic speakers, and they'll pump your faith up, make you feel really strong, uh, really strong about your faith and get you fired up. Okay, so that's that purpose. And there's going to be some formation after that. We're going to have mass. We're going to have uh, reconciliation. There's going to be some adoration. There's going to be bands playing. Lunch is served. A light breakfast is served. So it runs from about 8 a.m. till about 4 in the afternoon. So it's just a full day packed with activity. And you'll come away from the conference feeling really good about being Catholic and wanting to get involved in your parish and just doing more. How did you get involved yourself in the first place uh, four years ago? Well, it was advertised at my parish, and what's funny is I saw the advertisement weeks ahead of time and then never thought about it again. <laughs> like most men. <laughs> and then I found myself on a Saturday morning with nothing to do with kids in Little League. It was a very rare time, and something popped into my head that that conference is today, and I got no excuse. I better go on out. So you, you, you literally went to bed one night on a Friday night not thinking of going, and the next morning... No, we... Weeks, yeah, yeah, exactly, but I weeks ahead of time and not thought about it since. So I went out to that conference and was just really motivated by it and wanted to do more. So I got involved at my parish. I started a men's fellowship in my own parish, and that thing's growing now. And so I just got involved in a volunteer level, and now I'm responsible for seeking out sponsors for the conference. So we are looking for sponsors if you're a business out there and you want to have your logo uh, exposed. So we're going to have 900 men, so you can advertise your business. There's different levels of sponsorship, and you get some free tickets. You get uh, a lot of benefits that come along with sponsorship. So if you're interested in either sponsoring or if you want to register, just go out to the website. You can Google it. It's North Texas Catholic Men's Conference. And you can go out there and register. If you register today, it's, uh, what is it, 55 today if you register? And then uh, a little bit more on the day of the conference. Yeah, well, we're very excited this year because we have the bishop from the Fort Worth there, Bishop Mike Olson. He's going to lead us off at the conference. We also have Michael Coran, Tom Peterson, and our featured speakers, Father Larry Richard, which we're very excited to have at our conference this year. Um, these guys, these, they're going to fire us up to get, and, and we're very excited to have 900 men in this conference center this year in Hearst. One thing I wanted to point out also, we've had some, uh, a lot of people concerned about where the location is. Hearst is kind of in the middle of the Metroplex, so, well, and all the construction around the conference center is done, so there's no traffic issues down there. 183 is completely done. So come out and join us. Sign up. Uh, so Bishop uh, Michael Olson, first time you've had a bishop actually speak at the conference, am I right? That's right. We've, had, we've always had a video of, of a bishop, yeah. but we've never had him at the conference. And he's very excited about this, too. He's, he's kind of seeked us out to do this. I mean, he really wants to be in front of the men of North Texas. We're very happy to have him there. So. Yeah, that's awesome. And uh, also, I want to speak to the, the, the women listening right now. Obviously, this is not your conference. You've got things like Magnificat coming up this weekend that's exclusive to women. But I know a lot of women are, of course, we all love our wives. And our wives encourage us to do something. Most times, we're going to do it. So speak to the women out there whose husbands may not be listening right now. And how they can gently encourage their husbands or even their, their fathers or their brothers or their you know, nephews or what have you. To this conference. Yeah, well, I was talking to my wife about this and she said, you, you, you guys need to have a commercial with a woman on there asking the men to come because like 
you said, their, the wives have a lot of influence over their husbands and, and really encourage them to go because they're going to have a great time, they're going to be inspired, they're going to come away better Catholic men. So um, women out there driving around, sign them up at ntxcmc.org. <laughs> Just today. sign them up That's and right. you tell them, hey, by the way, this is where you're going. Yeah. Okay. You know, that kind of happened to me at a chirp, uh, chirp retreat a few years ago. My wife signed me up. and told me two weeks ahead of time that I was going to this retreat and it was the best thing I ever did but yeah. but she didn't tell me until right before. Yeah. So women, you know, go please sign up. Women have a powerful That's influence right. over us. That's right. They really do. Uh, great chance of the Nope, just repeat, come on out. Um, I've been heavily inspired by it, and um, you'll have a great time if you come out. Greg and Rick, thank you very much uh, for coming out here on short notice, I know. Uh, and again, guys, get out to this conference. I think you're really going to be glad you will. And if you're like me, you'll, I've been, I've been I'll head to every single one of them. Uh, I don't plan on missing any, God willing. Uh, okay, so thanks also to Daryl Bennett and also to Oscar Camasos, Mark Bahala, the owner of Vicky's here. Support Vicky's and support the ones at Crystal in particular. Where I've been.